Hi guys, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, now, you may have seen on a number of my videos uh, several title sequences. I've got uh, a Going Outdoors one and I've got a more recent um, Apprentices Apothecary, Apothecary uh, title sequence. <laughs> getting asked uh, you know how I created it so I thought I'd put together a video and uh, show you guys exactly what I did to achieve those results now I have to point out right from the beginning if you don't understand what keyframes are you will not understand this video so what I've done is I've made a video all about keyframing and if you haven't yet um, seen it then I'll put a link right here so don't watch any more of this video just click this link here and go and watch the video on uh, keyframing first so you understand what keyframes are um, and then click your back button and then come back to this video and then watch the rest of this video um, because like I say if you don't know what keyframes are you're not going to understand a word of what I'm talking about on this video. Now this video I'm about to show you is actually a lot shorter and a lot less complicated uh, than you think it uh, it might have been. So um, hopefully it'll well it'll make sense when you watch it. So um, without further ado, here it comes. Now I should point out before I start that quite a few people um, have mentioned to me in the past that I ought to get some screen capture software and uh, you know sort of uh, do this with screen capture software and a voiceover but to be honest I prefer filming the screen so I can point and sort of it's like you're looking over my shoulder um, so uh, on this particular video as well I've actually managed to lock off the focus so hopefully the focus isn't going to hunt every time I uh, put my hand on the screen anyway let's get on with it Right, this is basically how I managed to uh, get that title sequence that um, you saw at the beginning of this video. And uh, what I started off with was a background clip that I got. I think this one came from a company called The Footage Firm. Now you can get software that makes this kind of thing, I th um, but I'm not quite sure what that software is called. Although some may mention that it's uh, perhaps Adobe After Effects or something along those lines. But all I know is uh, software to do this kind of thing is going to be stupidly expensive. So what I prefer to do is to just buy a video background sequence. And uh, like I say, I got these from, I think it was a company called The Footage Firm. I'll put a link in the notes field of this video. So there we have our basic um, background video. And then literally it was just a case of adding some titles so if I zoom in on there here's my very uh, first title and uh, I've got text and all I did was I used keyframing to make the text move approximately with the uh, you know in the same sort of approximate timing uh, with the the background video so as you can see this text is sort of is tilting off that way and uh, so it makes it look like it's part of the actual uh, video itself. Now as soon as the background is going to change to the next uh, sequence, what, what I did, I was literally again using keyframes, I just got the text to disappear out of the way in the same direction as uh, the actual background um, appeared. So it actually looks like it's, it's sort of meant to be there. So when the background goes to the next colour, which is uh, red in this case, uh, all I did was I just added in some more text again just um, using keyframing to maneuver it and at the same time I also added in a little bit of video footage again just using simple keyframing to take it from one side of the screen to the other um, and timing it so that this disappears off the screen just at the point where the background switches over to the next color like so. Again you can see the text is 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 sort of tilting to try to match the background a little bit um, and when I get the text to disappear again using purely keyframes I try to get the text to go in the same direction uh, as when the background changes so it wasn't rocket science it literally was just adding individual components that would move um, and their movements would match 
the, the movement of the background video uh, using keyframing. And that's it, that's how I did it. So that's it, that's how I did my title sequence. I'll leave a note in the video field of this video uh, for the company where I got the background uh, video from. And uh, I think I, I, when I bought it, they were giving them away free. I think what if you sign up with the newsletter um, with this company, every now and again they'll email you with some free offers and I think you just have to pay like about $8 for the postage for the discs. Um, so it's quite uh, it's quite a good little deal, and I think that's how, if I recall, that's how I got hold of um, this particular background um, that I'm using. So anyway, that's it. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.